Hello and welcome to the Fast Reports Academy. Today we will look at the report that is included in the demo. The main feature of it is that it has an element of interactivity. When you click one of those links in the preview, it opens a different tab with the data. So what's going on under the hood? The trick is to call an another report and pass it a parameter. It is done with the hyperlink option. You can call any other report with the hyperlink and it will be opened in a separate preview tab. This is the path to the report that we want to call. And this is the parameter name that we want to pass. So in this case we will pass the name of the category. The same hyperlink options are set up for the picture object. Let's look at the report that we are calling. It's located at the demo report folder that comes with your fast report installation. Here it is, next to the base report. This is the parameter that this report depends on. Firstly, it is shown in the header. And then let's look at the data band and figure out what happens to the data. This band shows the product list. As you can see, the data is filtered. This expression evaluates if the product's category is the same as the parameter, and only the products that are in the necessary category are shown. By the way, here's how this band in the base report is divided into two columns. The data band has a columns editor, which lets you divide the band. If we want to increase the amount of the columns on the page, we'll have to make the band more narrow. And place the text object under the picture object. We can even make four columns like this. So now you know how this report works. This was today's lesson on the fastreport.net. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments. In the description, you can find a link to the list of articles on fastreport that are sorted by text.